Hi all, this is uh, Mike here. So in today's video will be the first part of the um, uh, steps for you to convert this uh, Amazon Fire HD8 into a more Google-like tablet. So meaning, as you can see now, it's running the, uh, what do you call it, it ads, the standard Fire OS uh, launcher. So what we are going to do today is to be the first step for us to actually convert this um, <clears throat> tablet into a more Google-like kind of look, right? So ultimately, uh, that's gonna be the first thing that we need to do will be to install the Google Play Store into this device. So um, just let's get on with it. So first of all, you will need to download uh, a list of APKs from uh, APK Mirror or any other trustable source that you have and uh, it needs to be installed in a certain order for you to get the things done so i'll leave the link down below uh, then you can actually download it and um, install it one by one so there are a few ways of installing of course on a day you can download es file explorer for uh, to install the apks but for me itself i would prefer not to use that because it has a lot of uh, i don't know malware in the uh, yes Explorer itself so I will basically just do ADB install so just have the um, APKs downloaded via the link below and we will proceed from there so the next thing we need to do is to install minimal ADB and fast boot uh, that one I'll leave a link down below as well for you to install so once you've got that done then uh, we will follow the next step on the computer you just need to connect your uh, tablet to the computer itself and we will do ADB install for that yeah, and please do know um, you will need to actually enable the security side. I think it's security. Then um, install app from unknown sources. Okay. So just in case you can't see it properly, so it's this uh, option here. Okay. Uh, before I forget, uh, you will need to go into ADB. So what you need to do is to go to device option. And just tap on the serial number okay so you have develop option now so you need to click on it and you need to click on enable adb and also to allow the security pop-up once you get connected to the uh, tablet itself on the tablet okay for installing the apks from the uh, using adb install uh, what we need to do is to download the uh, APKs into a folder inside our computer and we'll push the APK install from the PC itself so you do not need to install anything and you also do not need to copy uh, what do you call that? copy the APKs itself inside your device so first of all just please make sure that this device is updated to the latest software as uh, once we have done these changes it might cause the um, update not able to run then we'll revert back and stuff like that so so ultimately what we need to do now is make sure that we are on the latest software make sure that we have the apks downloaded into the uh, pc itself and we're ready to move on so let's connect the cable and start the work okay first uh please make sure once you have all the uh, apks downloaded so we need to install the apk in sequence then now please launch minimal adb and fast boot so once you're in there, uh, you will need to go to that particular um, uh, you need to check with DB devices, make sure the device is connected. Okay, as you can see now, that is the security pop-up that I talked about. So you just put always allow and press on OK and we are good to continue. So once you have enabled it, then um, you move back here. So type in ADB devices again. Then the device is connected. Okay, once you have all the APKs downloaded, then open up minimal ADB and fast boot. Then go to the directory where the, uh, the APKs is stored. For me, it's Amazon Fire HD. So, um, <clears throat> list out the directories. So, we would basically need to install the APKs in order, in order for it to move. So, just type in ADB install. Then the first one will be the one with GSF login. 
this is the Google Account Manager so this is the one that we are going to install so just type in all that and press on install then you wait for it to complete then we move on to the next one so the next one would be ADB install again so the next one put in ADB install it will be the Google account services which is the GSF underscore yeah then just click on install again and wait for it to complete and then we go on to the third one which is ADB install Google account services now the one with GMS then install again wait for it to push this one is a bit bigger so it'll take a bit of time okay it's done then the next one would be the last one which is google play store so adb install com.android.vending and just install it just wait for it to complete okay so it's done now we'll move on back to the tablet for the rest of the setup Okay, once, once you are done with the um, ADB install, you should be able to see that you have a Google Settings and a Google Play Store installed. So what you need to do is just launch it and put in your credentials and you should be able to go into your Google Play Store. So after you launch the Google Play Store, you should get this login page asking you to put in your credentials. So just log in your credentials. Okay, so once you have your credential ready, you should have the Play Store installed. Uh, your 5HD tablet. So when that is done, the first step, first part of the video is done. So now you already know how to put in Google Play Store to your Amazon 5HD. So yeah, that's all for today's folks. So please uh, stay tuned for the second part of the video, which I'll go through with you how to put in uh, a launcher inside the Amazon 5HD so that it will make it looks like a um, standard Google tablet. So um, just I'll leave a link down below for part two once it's ready so that so that you guys can actually um, proceed to the second step so that's all for today guys uh, thank, thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon bye